Hey everyone, it's Eric with Shuckabuck.com and welcome to video number three in this four video series on how to generate profits using print-on-demand products. What I'm going to talk about in this video is how to actually test your designs with very little money. And when I say very little money, I'm talking like less than eight bucks. You can know if a, if a shirt is a winner or a loser. All right, and if it's a winner, we're going to know the exact targeting, we're going to know the exact image, we're going to know the exact copy that um, we need to use to actually make sales. All right, so I'm going to go through the testing phase in this video, and in the next video, I'm going to I'm going to go in and show you how to um, create a winning campaign and start making actual sales. All right, the testing phase. Is it's nice if you make sales but if you don't make sales it's not a big deal because we're gonna know if it's gonna be a winner or loser without even making any sales all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually and I had a bunch of stuff up here before let me create a new um, thing here what we're going to do is we are going to you're gonna be in one niche right oh my gosh I'm terrible already you're gonna be in one niche, right? One, just one niche, and you're gonna have five designs in that niche, okay? If you don't know how to come up with designs and find a designer, make sure you go back and watch videos number one and two. Obviously, this is video number three in the series, so hopefully you have watched the other two before watching this one. If you haven't, Please stop this video and go back and watch the other ones. You might be a little lost. Um, if I'm going too slow for you, there's always the settings area down, you know, below. If you're on mobile, it's like up here, here, and you gotta change the settings. But if I'm going slow, you can just speed up the video. Okay, I always get comments like, "Wow, he's going really slow with this crap." Uh, just speed it up right away. Anyway, so we're gonna have one niche, and we're gonna be testing five designs at the same time. Now, don't freak out because we're going to be testing kind of fast and we're going to be using five dollar a day budgets so for each campaign you're going to have twenty five dollars a day going into it but we're going to run it for less than a day so for less than eight bucks usually on average for me i know if a, if a design is going to be a winner or a loser loser whether i'm putting that design on a shirt or a mug or a phone case or a wallet or whatever you're selling all right and there's a lot of cool stuff that you can actually sell now with a lot of different things and I'll probably get into that in a different video but so you got one niche and you got your five designs so one design let's just say you're in the unicorn niche because I'm actually testing unicorns and I'm what and I'm gonna show you the live tests in this video so let's say you have five designs and one says um, uh, believe let's just say there's a believe in unicorn shirt there's a um, uh, spirit animal you know the unicorns are my spirit animal something like that all right and then you got two more or three more all right so you got your five designs ready and what you do is you don't even actually upload your designs to a print-on-demand service at all because you don't need to do that yet you don't even know if the designs are going to be good so what we're going to do is we are going to create five different campaigns all right five different campaigns for each of the five designs all right and what are they going to be the objective is going to be page post engagements we are going to test these based on the engagements specifically comments all right specifically comments on the post that we are promoting with our design all right so in each of the campaigns you are going to have three to five different ad sets so ad set one ad set two ad set three Ad set four, oops, four, add 
set five, and I probably screwed that up, but we're going to have five different ad sets, okay? So what are we actually testing in our ad sets? We are testing uh, targeting, all right? So we're gonna have five different targeting options. What we are, what are we testing in the at the campaign level? We are testing the actual design. All right. Remember, you're gonna have five of these going at the same time, and you can have 15. You could have 30 going at the same time. It doesn't matter. I just said five because five is a good number because usually one out of every five, or one out of every four, I should say, of my designs actually work all right and they're actually profitable all right so that's why i just said five you don't have to do five you can do three you can do one if you wanted to you can go one at a time if your budget doesn't allow it and i gotta pick a different color here so we're testing the targeting options in each of the ad sets and then each of the ad sets is going to have a uh, image all right so the creative is what we are testing here so you want three different images all right three and I can't even spell three different images so we're gonna have three different images in each ad set and we're gonna have five different ad sets in each campaign and we're gonna have five campaigns so each ad set is where you spend your budget so these are gonna be all um, these are going to be five dollars a day, all right? So five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. <clears throat> these are all going to be five dollars a day, which means you're going to be spending twenty-five dollars a day times five is a hundred and twenty-five dollars. Now, don't get scared of this number because you will not spend that much all right you will maybe you only need to spend at max 50 very max all right um you could probably you could probably figure out if it's going to be a winner or a loser with about i'd say 30 bucks let's just say 30 to 40 bucks so you're testing five different designs with 30 bucks that's pretty cool, right? So that is, this is how we're going to do it. Now let me go into my um, ad account, if I can move this out of the way, and show you what it actually looks like. All right, so here is my unicorn shirt. Here's the campaign. I'm only doing one. It's only one design. I, I put this up pretty quick. What I did was, first I had four different campaigns targeting the entire world which was kind of stupid, but I got a lot of engagements. I got 287 post engagements, which means, I, and I got the post engagements for less than $2, all right? So I had four different ad sets going, targeting glitter, targeting unicorns, targeting rainbows, and targeting glitter, rainbows, and unicorns in one of them, all right? And I had worldwide targeting on, and I spent less than two dollars and got 287 post engagements as you can see 0 0.005 cents per post engagement for a couple of these all right then i turned them off right away this was not even not even 30 minutes it took to spend less than two bucks to get some engagement on the post you don't have to do this but i just wanted to test it like i haven't tested worldwide targeting in a while and I just wanted to test it and see if it would actually work. I actually don't recommend doing this, but if you wanted to get engagements on your post really quickly to, to have that social um, proof on the post before you went into the US targeting, that's fine. So here's what I'm targeting inside the US. Here's my one, two, three, four. I did seven different ad sets, so seven different targeting options. I targeted glitter, hippie, peace freaks, Electro Threads, Rainbow, Unicorn, Tie-Dye, and Ulta Beauty. All right, this is a unicorn shirt, remember. Now let me um, refresh the page so I can get some up-to-date stats. It's really late right now, so it's probably not going to change much. But I'm probably going to have to pause the video because my computer's slow. Oh, no, I don't. So 
what are you actually looking at? These are all page post engagement posts. Each ad, if I go into the ad itself, is just an image, all right? So I'll go in and, and show you the image. It's a 1200 by 1200 or a 1080 by 1080, as long as it's a 1000 by 1000. So here it is, Believe in Unicorns. It's a phone case wallet dealio, all right? It just says, Believe in Unicorns, new phone case wallet coming soon. Remember, I don't even have the product page up yet, all right? And then it says, want one? Comment yes on this post, and we'll send you a 20% off coupon when we're ready to ship, all right? So every time, and there's two comments on it, sweet. So every time someone comments, then where, where do they actually go, all right? And we're actually sending them to a Messenger, all right? So every time someone comments, I have it automatically set up where they're gonna get a Messenger message from this page on their phone and it's gonna say hey thanks for commenting um, just confirm that you want to get the 20% off coupon when we when we launch this product and they tap yes again and now we got them that means we can actually sell to them later on with through a messenger ad which is way more powerful and it's not even an ad it's a message and it's free to send it's like sending an email but or sending a text message through Messenger, all right? So it's really cool stuff, and I know I haven't talked a lot about Messenger, um, especially in this training, but I'm gonna try and keep this video under 20 minutes. So, um, so yeah, so that's what the ad looks like. Here are all the, the audiences that I'm targeting. Now, what do you actually wanna look at? It's really hard to get people to comment. All right, it's easy to get them to click something. It's easy to get them to like something. It's harder to get them to comment. So what we want to look at is actual engagement. All right, so let's see here. We got one comment. Where's the other comment? Oh, the other comment was on the worldwide one. Okay, so basically we have one comment right now, which kind of sucks, but we do know that someone commented which means this electro threads targeting is probably something we're going to want to look at all right let's say that the rainbow and the electric threads had 10 comments a piece the rest of them had like one or two all right that means the electro threads and the rainbow uh, targeting option is what we want to go with all right now i only have one image in each of these ad sets and it's the same image but if we use different images, different mockups, we would know which one they are commenting on. All right. So we would know the actual ad image that we need to use. And now we know the actual ad targeting. So how do you know if it's a winner or a loser? All right. Let's go. I'm going to go back to the performance default so you can see the cost per result. Usually, if anything is below seven cents ish, uh, a five cents or below uh, post engagement's really good. So this glitter is going to be out. This hippie peace freaks camp uh, ad set's going to be out. This one's going to be out. This one's going to be out. This one's going to be out. All right. Now the two that are doing actual that that are decent are the tie dye and the electro threads. So what I would do right now is turn off all the rest of them, leave the tie dye and electro threads going and see if we get any comments from it. Comment is the biggest factor here, all right? So if you, and we can look at link clicks too. So let's go to uh, customize columns here. And actually there's no link, I'm sorry. There's no link in this post. So you can't look at the link. If there was a link in the post, you can look at people who actually clicked on the link inside a page post and get engagement ad post. And if someone clicked, that's a good thing too. All right. So basically we're looking at low engagement rates, below seven cents or below is okay. Five cents and below is really good. All right. So keep on the ones um, that have uh, the low engagement. So I will probably turn off uh, I'm going to turn off this one and I'm going to turn off rainbow 
and I'm going to turn off unicorn and I'm going to turn off glitter and hippie freaks. All right. So now I have I have two ad sets going. Now I'm going to leave those go, especially since one of them had a comment. And I'm going to just look at comments after tomorrow. So I'll to tomorrow it's one o'clock in the morning right now. So I'm not going to get a lot of engagement overnight. But tomorrow around 1 or 2 p.m. I'm going to look at it. And I'm going to say if there's a few comments on each of these, then I'm good to go. And I'm going to go into a conversion campaign and actually try and sell the product where I actually set up the product page and everything uh, like that. So let me go through kind of the whole the whole spectrum of what's happening here. All right. <clears throat> so we have we have a a bunch of ad sets going. Now we're down to two different ad sets. All right, two ad sets. So ad set one, ad set two. And we are looking for comments. So if people comment, I use a, a software called uh, ManyChat, which has a growth tool. A growth tool is basically a tool that um, increases your subscribers. So they have like landing pages you can create. They have links that you can put on your website to get people to sign up uh, to be a messenger subscriber. So think of it as email subscriber. So if they comment, they go to ManyChat, then ManyChat sends them a message saying, hey, thanks for signing up. If you want to confirm, you can confirm. If they say yes, then they are a subscriber, all right? So that's what we're looking for. Um, that's what we're looking for when it comes to these ad sets. We're looking for comments, all right? And if there are comments and a low rate of engagement, then, so if there are um, two plus comments, and uh, less than, let's say seven cents per post engagement, um, then we're going to take them into uh, take those images that worked and we're going to take those audiences that worked and we're going to send them into a conversion campaign. Oh, I can't I can't type or I can't write conversion. So we're going to take them into a conversion campaign, use these same two audiences, the same two images. And we are trying to get the goal here is actual sales. All right. So that's what I'm going to go through in the next video is how to actually make some money with this. We're going to start actually creating our page and we're going to start getting conversions. All right. So. Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, obviously. Subscribe to the page. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos like this and a lot more series of videos. I think people like, um, like me doing it this way. So we will see you in video number four, The Final Frontier. Oh, God, I'm a dork.